Sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Philosia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord, then he went to Tarshish to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. All ye nations praise the Lord. All ye nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon his holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All ye nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre and Ethiopia, this man was born here. And of Zion, they shall say, one and all were born in her. And he who has established her is the most high Lord. All ye nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the people 
peoples are in the world. This man was born here, and of all shall sing in their festive dance. My home is within you. All the nations praise the Lord. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe, because you are not among the sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. And no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Last uh, Sunday, we talked about Jesus Christ as the Good Shepherd. Then yesterday, we also talked about the successors of Christ. Peter as the first uh, vicar of Christ here on earth. And the successors to this time is Pope Francis. We also pray for more vocation, that we pray for our young people, men and women, that they also consider in their life uh, the calling that they have in their heart. If we know somebody that is discerning the community, should pray for, uh, for them, and we help them in their difficulties. It's not easy to make that decision to follow the footsteps of uh, Christ, both religious men and women that want to uh, serve and offer their lives to God. Today, the word of God is uh, described as love for our feet and a light for our steps. Jesus Christ himself said that he is the true light of the world. And it is in his light that we can see that we will not stumble when temptation comes along the way. There will always be difficulties in this life. There will always be obstacles, problems, even death comes along the way. But we can always find the right path in this life, for the Lord is the true light of the world. In his, in his
his life that we can see. And it is through Jesus Christ's life and his words that we find the true way, the right path in life to be able to reach that destination that we all want to go, to be with our Father in heaven where there is everlasting joy and happiness. Jesus also speaks about um, how we go through this life that we will not fall into the darkness of sin. He is our good shepherd and those that um, those people that have, don't have Christ in them, in their lives or without spiritual guidance to watch them as they wander in this life um, for all those people that try to be the master of their own lives without Christ without God will always be defenseless against the works of evil because they don't fear anything they don't fear God fear in punishment. But the truth is there is rewards in this life, there is punishment also if we do not follow what the Lord wants us to be. And it is already written in our heart that we be good to others, that we be kind to others, that we be generous, do acts of charity, pray for everyone. If we don't have Christ in our lives, then we are defenseless against all these evil words and against all these evil temptations. The Lord always guards his people like a shield from the dangers and storms of life, from all these wild things out there, evil spirits. In the, in the world. The Lord is our life and salvation. So we should always remember that, to have Him the center of whatever we do in this life. Jesus Christ is our Good Shepherd. He always leads us to the right path of life. And through His words and His commands, leads us to the places that is away from danger and harm. Even um, when there are problems in this life or difficulties that you will encounter, it would be easy for us to accept things as it is, even then, when we have Christ in our life. When I was in my previous parish, a family had this terrible accident. Their daughter died. But I saw them um, with heart, but they accepted it with all their heart that uh, their daughter is gone. When we are close to God, we know that there is end of everything there is this thing that some of us really fear about death but it will come to us to everyone one day and so we should be prepared uh, we always heed to his voice and we listen to his commands and his words so that we will not fall into darkness of all those of us who hear the voice of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, uh, will be lead through the best places, everlasting happiness when our time comes. There will be peace in their heart. There will be joy and happiness and fellowship with God and all His holy people and saints. And so as we continue our celebration, as we come forward to receive Him, we pray 
and be our good shepherd, our Lord Jesus Christ, to lead us to what is best for us. And we always believe that it is only in Him that uh, our hope and trust will be in right places. And may the Lord open our hearts and our ears today to hear His voice and follow His commands. Please stand. Now we pray for our church, for our community, and for ourselves as we continue to pray for the intentions of our Holy Father. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our community here in Susanville and in Carrigal. Pray for all our parishioners, for our young people, and all those who are homebound. We pray to the Lord. We pray also for the special intentions of Mame, Ati, Dume, Philly, Armand, and Milan. We pray to the Lord. We pray also for all those who are sick and dying because of the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all pray for all our medical workers, for all frontliners, and for all those people who are starting to open up their businesses and their employees be protected from any danger and harm. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all OFWs, all those who are working away from their families. We pray to the Lord and for healing, for shame, for hide, for Sylvester, and as we especially pray for my this woman. We pray to the Lord and in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray for our own personal special intentions. pray also for the repose of the souls of Dave and Maxim Miller and for the repose of the soul of Jason Hammer. We pray to the Lord. Lord and all these prayers and intentions we ask through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the vine, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we are, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, upon all holiness, and make holy therefore this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a seminar when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jaime, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pierced you throughout the ages, we may merit to be yours to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be saved. And may the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. For all those who are watching this live streaming and cannot receive Christ in the Holy Communion, please join me in this spiritual communion prayer. 
in union, dear Lord, with the priest of every altar of your church, for your blessed body and blood are being offered to the Father. I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. I present to you my soul and body with the earnest wish that I may be always united to you. And since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually to my heart. I unite myself to you and embrace you with all the affections of my soul. Oh, let nothing ever separate you from me. Let me live and die in your love. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in the present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless everyone, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed Tuesday, everyone. Open my